so in this particular video we will be talking about the type of magnetic properties in materials now the question is sometimes we see some materials are attracted towards the magnetic field magnetic field some are pushed away so there must be a classification or the difference in properties in this materials for this two cases and sometimes what we see is in presence of a magnetic field the material has no effect has no effect so now with this questions in mind we will start to classify materials into either a diamagnetic or a para or ferromagnetic so let's discuss what is diamagnetic substances so if you talk about the diamagnetic substances now these are those substances which have a tendency to move away from the electric field that is away from the stronger to the weaker part of the electric field it moves away or a proper definition would be it tries to move from a stronger magnetic field that is stronger external magnetic field external magnetic field to a weaker field so this is what is known as your diamagnetic substances now if you ask yourself the question as to why do they do so the question is why do they behave in this manner so asking this question we will come to the conclusion that if you study we know around the nucleus electrons revolve electrons revolve around the nucleus so in a way a current is produced in a way a current can be understood that a current is produced in a circular loop because this is moving in a circular orbit because electrons are moving in a circular orbit because electrons are moving in a circular orbit we have a circular current or a current loop so because of this current carrying loop and thus it possesses orbital magnetic moment because it moves we know magnetic moment was our derivation was current into the surface in a loop in a loop so we can say that it possesses a orbital magnetic moment now we have come to the conclusion that it possesses orbital magnetic moment magnetic moment so step by step we come to understand from till here so further moving so therefore diamagnetic substances are the ones in which resulting magnetic moment in an atom is zero we know if you take the magnetic moment over here if you take the magnetic moment over here the resultant magnetic moment i am writing this over here diamagnetic substances are those substances diamagnetic substances are those substances whose resultant whose resultant magnetic moment is zero moment is zero so in a way what we can understand is when the magnetic field is applied those electrons have an orbital magnetic moment in the that is if you look that orbital those mag, those electrons when they revolve they will have a orbital magnetic moment 
so those electrons having orbital magnetic moment in the same direction slow down so if the orbital magnetic moment are in the same direction as the moving electron it will slow down and if you look at the opposite side it will speed up now this is happening because in an external magnetic field in an external magnetic field a current carrying conductor experiences a force and that was what we studied in lorentz law so because the electrons are moving it has a current and an external magnetic field the one which is nearer it will slow down because it is in the the force is in the opposite direction and the one which is further away will speed up the electrons will speed up so in this way the speed up electrons tries to go to the weaker magnetic field whereas the one which is slowed down slightly moves away and that is the reason for your diamagnetism or diamagnetic property so in a way you can understand that the substance develop a net magnetic moment in the direction opposite to that of the applied field see if this has increased and this has slowed down so there is a net magnetic moment that has been generated which is away from the stronger electric field to the weaker electric field and that is the reason it gets pushed away so now let's talk about paramagnetism now this type of substances are those which gets which gets weakly magnetized <coughs> when placed under when placed under placed under magnetic field magnetic field now the reason behind this is because the paramagnetic substance has a what we can say is inside the material the arrangement of the electrons and the nucleus is in such a way that they possess a permanent magnetic dipole moment of their own that is permanent magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment so in case of a external electric field what we can see is they the molecules the molecules or you can say the substance the elements align themselves in the direction of the magnetic field so because they align themselves in the direction of the magnetic field so we can see that they are itself magnetized they are itself magnetized and so if you remove the external magnetic field for some time in case of paramagnetic substances you will see that it can attract certain other magnetic materials so that is what we can understand from your paramagnetism or paramagnetic substances and if you look that is this is if this is a external magnetic field b not it will align this particular substance the dipole will align towards this b so it will try to move from weaker to stronger it tries to move from weaker to stronger magnetic field stronger magnetic field magnetic field so in a way if you look at the magnetization what we can see is this is given by c b not upon t so now the magnetization is inversely proportional to the temperature the more temperature if you increase the temperature the magnetization effect goes down now this is actually equivalent to the magnetic susceptibility is actually equal to c into mu not upon t so magnetic susceptibility decreases with the increase in temperature and you have to remember this particular relation because sometimes in a examination in short questions this comes magnetic susceptibility magnetic susceptibility so now if you remember this relation that is 
मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टिबिलिटी इज इक्वल टू सी इंटू म्यू नॉट अपॉन टी सो इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टी जस्ट राइट इन आंसर इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल 